Welcome to this uh, Windows and Computer channel and um, just want to make sure that people understand about uh, checking for driver updates uh, within Windows 10. Um, of course, one of the first things that you could check for updates is Windows updates. Uh, more and more drivers are actually being shown through Windows updates in the update and security. They often will show up in uh, the optional updates. So often you will see that there's, um, you know, it says up to date or there will be some updates, but then it will say that there are other types of ad updates that can show up in here. So if it says there's some optional updates or driver updates, you can check out and click that category and see what it is actually offering. So in there, there might be driver updates. They are now not pushed automatically most of the time they are in a separate section why well simply because they actually cause problems sometimes depending on the manufacturer or uh, the drivers you know it's one of the major causes actually of crashes of a computer the other thing that you can do of course is go and right click in the start menu go into the device manager and you can actually click whatever device you would like to know if there's an update on. In that update, you can right click the device, say, um, you know, update driver, and you can actually search automatically uh, for drivers. It will go on the internet. It might tell you the best driver is already installed on your system, or it might actually update. But the best bet and that is for a lot of brand computers if you have an HP, Lenovo, Dell, Acer, uh, Asus and so on is to go to the manufacturer's website directly. A lot of drivers are on the manufacturer page not necessarily downloaded to your computer. So it's important to know that there are some drivers on the manufacturer's page um, and it's very important, especially for a brand computer, to actually check that there because that's how you will have updates and that's how uh, most of the updates actually happen on a system. So if you have problems, if you have blue screens, I strongly suggest that you try to find if there are new drivers for some of the hardware on your uh, computer as it's one of the major causes of uh, failure in uh, blue screens. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching.